Hey guys, it's Nathan from the Off Grid Shop here. Today we're going to be talking about the largest off grid systems that you can get. So here we have a 15 kVA Quattro with us. 15 kVA is the biggest Quattro you can get from Victron. And you can parallel up to three of these units to get 45 kVA of power from them. Now this kind of unit I wouldn't recommend for everyone you know, living in a normal three bedroom house, just running an aircon here and there. Um, if that's your plan off grid, you might want to think about downsizing the inverter. This inverter is more for someone who has a lot of plans to either upgrade in the future and they don't want to have to keep buying a new inverter and paralleling more together. This is for someone either, you know, has an industrial workshop and you have a lot of high draw tools and stuff that you have to use or someone that has a big property, you know, and they're thinking of expanding, they're thinking of starting in a shed, building a house here, building a house there and they just want a central power station. So this would be a perfect unit for someone like that. So with this kind of inverter, you'd want something like a lithium battery to go with it. Um, good examples of batteries like the Power Plus Live Series or the Pylon Tech batteries. Um, all of those batteries are great for this kind of system because you'd, you'd be expecting high charge currents and high, high discharge currents. And um, if you have a battery that's not prepared for that sort of high discharge and high charge, you're going to lose the longevity of the battery over time. And something like this, I think the 15 kVA Quattro, without doing anything, without running any loads, it'll use, I think, 80 watts continuously just to keep itself alive. So you've got to factor that sort of thing into your system as well. So the reason you'd want to go with something like a 15 kVA Quattro is if you anticipate that you're going to be using loads that could be up to 8 um, kilowatt or 10 kilowatt loads, um, if you're expecting those kind of loads, you definitely want to upgrade to something like a 15 kVA. Because especially in Australia, when we get those hot days, these get derated a fair bit. Um, for example, I think in 60 degrees, the 15 kVA is only rated to put out 10 um, kVA. So on a really hot day, you might get temperatures near like 50 degrees in an enclosed space, and that's going to derate your inverter. So if you're anticipating high loads, like 8, 10, 8 to 10 kilowatts, you definitely want to think about having one of these, which means you want to think about how much solar am I going to put on this. And that's pretty much going to come from your loads as well. So if you're anticipating 8 to 10 kilowatt loads or 6 kilowatt loads, you want to think about that and you want to have that much solar readily available to use throughout the day so they're not continuously drawing from the batteries. Because one thing that ruins the longevity of batteries is continuously doing those high discharges and charges. So if you've got the solar available there on the day, then it's not taking anything from the battery. It'll just go straight from the solar and be used for the loads. And, you know, it's just going to be based off what loads you're anticipating. So if you were looking to power something like a welder that was using, you know, six to eight kilowatts, um, and you're kind of wondering how many panels would I need for that, just go off the highest end of the load. So you go, okay, it might use six to eight. I'll say it uses eight. Um, so I'm probably going to want an eight kilowatt inverter, um, an AC inverter that's coupled with this off-grid inverter so that that eight kilowatt is available at any time from the AC inverter to deliver to the welder. So if I was to get an eight kilowatt AC coupled inverter, I'd want to make sure there's at least eight kilowatts of panels there that are ready to deliver that power. So for example, if you've got a 400 watt panel, you're going to want about 20 of them at minimum for an eight kilowatt inverter to couple it with this so that you can run a high use appliance such as a welder or um, a drill press or anything like that. So if you like this video, make sure to check out our other videos on the Off Grid Shop channel or visit our website, theoffgridshop.com.au. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.